Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Oblivion Server so here, back with another amazing video. And today, we're showing you guys how you set up Forge, Optifine, and Sue Shaders for your Minecraft Java. So, anyway, let's get started the video. Also, I'm really sorry for using Bandicam. It's the only choice I have to screen record. And sorry for bad audio quality. You hear like this buzzing noise in the background. That is my fan. My computer is on turbo mode right now. Just don't. Just ignore it for now. Anyways, we have to want to do is just open three windows and type in um Sue. Shaders and Minecraft one with the first one, type in Optifine on the second one, for the third one type in Forge and Minecraft. And once you have everything loaded in, go to um, the first window over here and just click on this one, Sonic Ether. Also, all the links will be in the description below so you guys can easy, easily access that. So let's click on Sus Shader right here, Sus Sonic Ether. And I personally, I use the um, Renewed. I uh, heard that the PTGI is really good so. But uh, that's like paid access, I believe. But I use Seuss Renewed. You can use Legacy Seuss V11, V10.2 Ultra. I use Renewed. So, anyways, you don't want to download it, just you know, just click on the download button right here. You can get accept the um, ELA thingy. But once you have to download it, just click click, click off of the window. And then I'll just move on to Optifine. I'm so sorry for stuttering. I just I'm not used to making a YouTube video. I haven't made one in like a while, but. Anyways, go to Optifine, go to Downloads right here, click on Preview Versions, and here is all the versions you can have for Minecraft Java Edition. I use 1.16.1, so I'm just going to download the Optifine 1.16.1. And also, here's a warning, don't click on the ad, just, they might give you virus, don't try, I don't trust them. So yeah, you just want to wait for the ad to skip, and click on Skip, and you can click on the download file. I don't know how this works, oh wait, yeah, yeah, I do, I have a copy, ne never mind. Okay, just want to save that file. Okay, once you're done with Optifine, move on to Forge. And for Forge, just click, click on your version on 1.16.1. So obviously, I'm going to do this. Click on the installer. And just wait for the ads to skip. Very easy to do. Yep, and just get the ad. And yeah, it'll pop up this thing for you to save and download. But once you have all those downloaded, um, I want you guys to do something real quick. Let me close off of Discord and... There we go. Okay, so for Forge, you want to double click on it. Forge installer. It's going to be in your download section. Just go to downloads right here and just drag it out. Like, for example, I can use Bandicam setup and just click on it. Okay, I cannot. Wait, I should just drag this one in. I can't drag it. Yeah, drag it. Just drag it to the outside like that. But I'm just going. I already did it. So, yeah. You want to install client. That's what you want to do. And just once you have done that, it's, it's good. So yeah, um, after you have the client installed for Forge, you want to go to your files, folders, whatever you call this, file explorer. Go to this PC right here, click on it, the top button right here, and type in percent app data enter percent and enter and click on the Minecraft right here. And for um, Sue shaders and um, Optifine, you want to go to shader packs. Shader packs is going to be your suit. So you do is just go to your downloads right here and just right click, copy, go back to your PC and type in the same thing again. I'll put everything in the description below. If I miss like if I make a mistake in this video, I'll put I'll cover it up in the description. But be sure to check that out. Go to Minecraft shader packs and just paste it. Very easy to do. Once you've done that, go back to your Minecraft right here and go to mods. This is where you go and paste in all your mods. Uh, I didn't use the call store mod, so don't just ignore that. But Optifine, you want to post Optifine in here. Okay, once you've done done that, uh, I think Minecraft is set up for Optifine, Forge, and Sue Shaders. So let's go ahead and open Minecraft. And yeah, I'm going to use Forge because that's what I play on because I can get the, the shaders and mods at the same time. But yeah, let's go ahead and open Forge and show you guys how this works. Also, I'm, I'm really sorry for the buzzing noise. It's really annoying. Mostly, I have um, noise gate and noise depression, and Bandicam doesn't have that, unfortunately. But it's gonna take a while for my Minecraft to load up because it's using Forge. Yeah, just give me a moment, please. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Hopefully, it loads up really fast because I don't want you guys to wait for a long time. Also, this video isn't edited, so yeah, I'm just going. This is originally for a friend, but it's. No, hey, it's a tutorial. It's just posted on YouTube. Who cares? Anyways, okay, Minecraft has loaded again. Mojang Studios. There we go. It'll crash. Maybe it'll crash because 
If I accidentally click off of this, it will actually crash. That's one problem to fix, but it's not my CPU or GPU related stuff. It's just the window automatically closes. Really weird. But okay, let's load in Mojang Studios. Why are you taking so long, Mojang? Thank you. There we go. Once you go to the mods and check if your forge is in, my call store is in. Okay, there we go. We have those in. Go to um, options to check if your shaders are in. Oh, this thing, I just spit it. Okay, never mind. Shaders. There we go. I do have the suit screen. You want to click on that and click done. And now that you have everything set up and this matches mine, the mods, you have all these mods here, and you have the video setting, go shaders, you have this thing right here, then you're good to go. And this is basically how your world's gonna be like. I this is I'm I'm gonna load in my Skylands world. The one I've been working on. There is RTX test, but unfortunately I don't have like the best RTX shaders in the game. But okay, let's load in this world and show you guys how much the world will change. So Okay, it's lagging because I'm recording, but don't mind me lying. 30 FPS, fairly bad, but what the? Why is there a spider? Oh, who cares? Let me turn off peaceful because I don't want this thing to annoy me. There we go. So yeah, you basically have like really, really good lighting right here. Look at this. Look at all of this. And I just do um, forge so I can do the mods because you know these are my mods. I use decoration mods. And I'm gonna go ahead and place this here. There we go. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Once you are done with this, you're world is going really really pretty as you can see like look at this it changes minecraft it makes it so much better in my opinion in terms of graphics and let me show you guys how the rain looks it's really cool it makes the whole world glow but okay before we do that actually yeah let's just do the rain first okay so weather rain there we go rain is going to start up oh look at this guys it's actually really cool because you could the rain actually makes the effects on the blocks that you can as you can see. Let's give it a while. Okay, yeah, the the ground is like it looks really slippery now. That's what two shaders does for you. But anyways, let's turn off the water. It's getting annoying now. And let's throw in lighting. So time set night. Okay, guys, this is where the lighting kicks in. Look at all of this. It's so pretty. Like, look at the stars and stuff, the sunset. It's just really, really nice. Look at how the lava glows. It's, yeah, this is why you get shaders. But just saying, if your computer can't handle it, it's best not to do it. So, yeah. But I guess this is the end of the video. If I miss something in the tutorial, please tell me in the comments. I'll probably delete this video and make a new one. But this is how I set my Forge and Optify and my mods and shaders. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If you're if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,100 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So if you're here, congratulations you made it to the end of the video. Please consider subscribing and leaving a like and comment down below what I should do next for a video. And thanks, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.